Hello and welcome to this quick video on how to install Vivado. Go to the Xilinx website at www.xilinx.com and click on the support option. Once there, click on the downloads and licensing page. And today we're going to install Vivado, but to do that, we're going to use Vitus. So when we get to the uh, downloads page, click on the Vitus tab, and this will take you to the uh, Vitus page for downloading Vitus. Uh, Vitus is a software development environment that allows acceleration and it also includes Vivado. And downloading Vitus gives us both Vivado and Vitus to allow us to do both traditional FPGA development, software development in an embedded flow and an accelerated software development flow. So scroll down until you can see which type of operating system you wish to install this for, be it Windows or Linux. Today I'm going to show you how to install this on a Linux machine, so select the um, the executable of choice, and this will direct you to sign into your Xilinx account. Sign in using your Xilinx credentials, so this is your username and password that you use to create your Xilinx account. Once you've entered that, you can click sign in, and this will take you to an authorization form for downloading to ensure that we are complying with US government export restriction regulations. Once this page loads, you can scroll down to the bottom. It will be pre-populated with your, with your data from your Xilinx account. Once you've done that, scroll down to the bottom uh, and then click on the download. This will download the small executable that we're going to use to install the larger application. So this will be about 350 megabytes and will take a little, a little period of time to download. Once, once the option arises, click save the file to save this to your to your downloads directory and then we can make a start running through and working with the application once it itself has down has downloaded so like i say this is about 350 megabytes uh, it's not a huge not a huge file but this is going to give us vitus and vivado so this is going to give us the ability to create traditional fpga designs using vivado do the simulation using vivado and generate those bit files it's also going to allow us to use vitus hls which allows us to use c c plus plus open cl to create ip modules using high level synthesis for our vivado designs and inclusion in our vivado designs and it also comes of course with vitus which is the embedded which is the software development environment and provides a uh, two flows in there. It provides a accelerated flow in which if you're working with a uh, heterogeneous system on chips, such as the Zinc, Zinc EMPC, SOC, or Versal, you can accelerate functionality using OpenCL from the processing system to the programmable logic. Alternatively, we can use it using a traditionally embedded software development flow if we're targeting a bare metal, a free RTOS, or a Petalinux type flow. So it's a really versatile and usable, uh, usable tool. Once this is downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to open a file browser and we're going to navigate to the location that we downloaded our application. So for me, this would be under the downloads application of my Linux virtual machine. Once there, we're going to right click on the file and make sure that it is enabled for working as a program. We only need to do this on the Linux download if you've downloaded it on Linux, not on Windows. Once we've done that, we can open a terminal and enter the command sudo and then the binary name and press enter. We might have to enter our credentials again for the for the Linux account to have pseudo privileges, but this will verify the target integrity and then it will open the installer. And this installer is really quite critical because it will allow us to customize the implementation of our installation such that we get all the devices that we want, all the tools that we want, but we still optimize the disk space that we're that we're working with. So don't worry about the red warning you can see about. I have a slightly different version of virtual machine. Uh, one of the minor versions that I downloaded didn't, didn't update properly, uh, but it will be enough for the demonstration of this uh, video. So go to the installation um, on the next page. Again, enter your Xilinx user account details. So these are your, the ones that we use to obtain this, this binary file from. And then select whether you want to just download the image or download and install. We're going to go with download and install. Once it's verified that, we're going to install Vitus, and you can see that it says there, Vitus includes Vivado Design Suite, so we don't need to include Vivado because we've got Vitus. Now on the next page, what we need to do is we can optimize the, the devices that we want to include for our, for our design. And this is gonna save us some disk space. So if we're doing working with smaller devices within the Webpack, then we can remove the 
Versal A cap. We can use the we can remove the ultra scale and the ultra scale plus. We can remove the RF sock, the vertex and the Kintex devices, and the ultra the ultra scale devices as well. As it's unlikely that we're going to use them. We can add them in at a later point in time if we want. And we're going to remove the MATLAB and Simulink add-ons as well. If you want to, depending upon your plans for doing acceleration with Vitus on a Linux system, we can also include those uh, via the application, the Edge acceleration platforms if we want to or not. But unchecking those, of course, will save us disk space. So I'm going to actually install these with my uh, design. So I'm going to click this back at this option back on in a moment and, and install those with my design. And with this, we're really ready to nearly go once we've identified and, and selected what we want to use. We're just going to click on next. We're going to agree the license conditions. And then we're going to allow, look at the summary page, and we're going to allow the creation of the uh, of the directory, if that directory, if the tool Xilinx directory doesn't exist. And then once we're ready for that, you'll see we use a slightly lower level of disk space there. Click on next. Approve the uh, directory creation and then the project will the application will download and install but it might take a little bit of time 